system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Hello, and welcome to my first edition of The State Has Lost Its Mind. I will be putting up links to this information below. What is tyranny? It is defined as a cruel and oppressive government or rule. Oppressive or unjustly severe government in the part of any ruler. Therefore, what is a tyrant? It is defined as a cruel and oppressive ruler. According to dictionary.com, a tyrant is a sovereign or otherwise ruler who uses power oppressively or unjustly. Now, what is private property? Private property, according to John Locke, 1634 to 1704 says every man has a property in his own person this nobody has any right to but himself the labor of his body and the work of his hands may he say are the property of his whatsoever then he removes out of the state that the nature hath provided and left it left it in he hath mixed his labor with and joined to it something that his own and thereby makes it his property from the Mises.org website. I will, I'll drop that link below. However, Eric July sums it up even better. Property rights are the private ownership of goods and services and the private selling of those goods and services. Now, the reason why I brought up property rights is that the New Mexico governor has zero idea what property rights are. She is arbitrarily shutting down businesses willy-nilly. Local news broadcasters spoke with local trampoline parks. KUAT spoke with Urban Air and KRQE spoke with Cool Springs about how the closure had affected them. Cool Springs defied, good on them, the order and went, and went back in business, yet the governor is having a temper tantrum about it and shut them back down. Two local businesses called Urban Air link below, uh, as well as Cool Springs, link below. Uh, they are indoor trampoline parks and they are now both closed due to the governor's lockdown orders. The most recent closing due to the tyranny of the governor uh, is a business called Albuquerque Indoor Karting. They are a indoor kart racing facility that offers fun and exciting racing action, which, which is a sprawling facility with high speed go-karts track and an attached video arcade. This, they had this to say on their Facebook. It is with heavy heart we are announcing the closure of Albuquerque Indoor Karting. We cannot continue to stand by while we wait for permission to open again. Their, their Facebook link will be linked below. They should be open right now making money. They both have taken all the appropriate measures to keep the people quote unquote safe from the Rona virus, or shall I say the Wuhan Luhan virus, that is killing businesses. Here are some actual numbers. 1,182,514 people, which is just over the half population of the New Mexico of 2,097,000 have been tested for COVID-19. 1,135,282 have been negative. That means there has been no virus in these tests. 0.0004% of the 1.1 million tests have been positive, which means 45,297 positive tests. 1,026 have died. That is 0 0.0004 or 0.04% of the state population if we take the, if we take number of deaths divided by state population. All this information is from the NewMexicoHealth.org website, which I will link below. Since the death number is so small, the government has shifted the goalpost to the number of cases, which in itself is a skewed number. It is skewed because those who have pre-existing con conditions are counted as COVID in order to continue the fear-mongering. As of November 2nd, there have been 21,758 recoveries of COVID-19 in New Mexico. Again, I will link that below. The uh, New Mexico Department of Health, on behalf of the governor, issued this containment order called Policies for the Prevention and Control of COVID-19 in New Mexico, dated September 21st, 2020. And in my opinion, it is absolute bunk because it says closed contact recreational facilities as well as recreational facilities must remain closed because reasons? It forced closed indoor businesses such as bars, indoor movie theaters, 
indoor museums with interactive displays or exhibits in other small venues, bowling alleys, miniature golf, arcades, amusement parks, aquariums, casinos, concert venues, professional sport venues, event venues, dance clubs, performance venues, go-kart courses, automobile racetracks, adult entertainment venues, and other places of recreation or entertainment. Uh, close contact businesses includes barbershop, hair salons, gyms, group fitness classes, tattoo parlors, nail salons, spas, massage parlors, esthetician clinics, tanning salons, guided raft tours, guided balloon tours, and personal training services. Businesses may operate at up to 25% max capacity of any enclosed space on the premises as determined by the fire code. Bowling alleys may open for league play only and must adhere to occupancy restrictions and all applicable COVID safe practices for individuals and employers, including wearing masks. Yet in the same order, outdoor businesses can run. What the actual flip? Outdoor recreational facilities include outdoor golf courses, public swimming pools, outdoor tennis courts, summer youth programs, youth livestock shows, horseback racing, horseback tracks, botanical gardens, outdoor zoos, New Mexico State Parks, golf courses may open, restaurants associated with golf course must follow the guidance for dine-in restaurants. While all this has killed off many businesses, this next part is the most sinister part of the executive order. Executive order number 2020-004 dated March 11th, 2020. Part 9 states, I direct the Adjutant General to order into service any element of the New Mexico National Guard that may be needed to support civil authorities in response to this public emergency. Such assistance shall be provided during the pendency of this order at the discretion of the Governor. This order seems to activate the National Guard and Reserve under the Governor's command in times of riot control, etc. So my question is this, why? Why during a pandemic activate the National Guard? As of October 23rd, all retail establishments must close by 10 p.m. each night in alignment with the state's requirement that food and drink establishments serving alcohol must close by 10 p.m. Businesses that incur four rapid responses, which is very vague, which incur when an employer reports as required an incident of COVID-19 in the workplace to the state environment department, which oversees the state occupational health and safety efforts over a two week period will be required to close for two weeks. Food and drink establishments that complete the New Mexico State Safe Certification Training Program, which educates workers about the state's required and recommended COVID-19 safe practices, may continue to offer limited indoor dining at maximum 25% occupancy as of Friday, October 30th. These safe practices include gathering name and number of everyone dining in, which also includes patio seating. <laughs> this reeks of fascism. In a, in a recent order, uh, Executive Order 2020-73 states, in consultation with the New Mexico Department of Health, I have determined that the statewide public health emergency proclaimed in Executive Orders 2020-004 and, and renewed in, ex, in Executive Orders 2020-022-026, uh, Dash zero thirty, dash zero thirty six, dash zero fifty three, dash fifty five, dash zero fifty nine, and dash zero sixty four shall be renewed and extended through November thirteenth, twenty twenty. Now, here in New Mexico, um, the uh, the New Mexico Constitution, Article four, Section two, on the emergency powers says. In addition to the powers herein enumerated by the legislature, shall have all powers necessary to the legislature of a free state, including the power to enact reasonable and appropriate laws to guarantee continuity and effective operation of the state and local government by providing emergency procedure for use only during periods of disaster or emergency. A disaster emergency is defined as a period in which damage or injury to persons or property in this state caused by an enemy attack is of such magnitude 
that a state of martial law is declared to exist in the state and a, and a disaster emergency is declared by the chief uh, executive officer of the United States and the chief executive officer uh, of the state and the legislative sorry, legislature has not declared by joint resolution that, that the disaster emergency is ended. Upon the declaration of, of disaster emergency, the chief executive officer of the state shall, within seven days, call a special session of the legislature, which shall remain in continuous session uh, during the disaster emergency, and may recess from time to time for more than for more than three days. And then I will link the uh, I'll link that down below. Uh, and I will link the rest of that the rest of the bullet the bullet points of that down below. All the various articles and the websites I will link in the description below so that you can see this information for yourself. In conclusion, what I'd like to see happen is all these businesses open up and disobey these tyrannical orders. For if these businesses do not disobey the tyrannical order, they will close forever and cause further economic depression. Licensing is simply the government stealing your right to do something and selling it back to you. It's the same concept as a horse being tied to a plastic chair that is not tied to anything. It's the illusion of control that people need to break out of. I'm encouraging each and every one of you to push these businesses to open back up in defiance of these tyrannical laws. Every business, regardless of location, needs to open back up.